in the back of an old cupboard, you discover a note signed by a pirate famous for his bizarre sense of humor and love of logical puzzles. In the note, he wrote that he had hidden treasure somewhere on the property. He listed five true statements and challenged the reader to use them to figure out the location of the treasure. So here are the five statements that are all true. If this house is next to a lake, then the treasure is not in the kitchen. If the tree in the front yard is an elm, then the treasure is in the kitchen. This house is next to a lake. The tree in the front yard is an elm tree, or the treasure is buried under the flagpole. If the tree in the backyard is an oak, then the treasure is in the garage. Where is the treasure hidden? So if you notice that part A, part B, and part E are all implications, and implications, unless they're clearly false, don't really tell us whether the component statements within each statement form is true or false. However, if you look at part C, we can say that this house is next to a lake. And we can use this along with part A, which says if this house is next to a lake, then the treasure is not in the kitchen. So we know that the treasure now is not in the kitchen. So if we read part B that says, if the tree in the front yard is an elm, then the treasure is in the kitchen. But we already know that the treasure is not in the kitchen. And so by modus tollens, we know that the hypothesis of part B is false because the conclusion of part B is false based on part A. So this means that the tree in the front yard is not an elm. Now, if you look at part D, it says the tree in the front yard is an elm, which we already know is false based on part B, or the treasure is buried under the flagpole. Well, this second part has to be true because we know the first part is false, and the or statement says that at least one of these statements has to be true. So this means that the treasure is buried under the flagpole, and we have found the treasure. Thanks, everyone, and I'll see you in the next video.